All right, I finished the base coat. I'm getting ready to put the clear on. I'm gonna go ahead and tack it off, make sure I get all the, the debris and that kind of stuff off before I put the clear. Also, when you shoot your base coat, uh, there's gonna be a little bit of overspray that's gonna settle on your project. A lot of that is, uh, it's already catalyzed, so it'll come off with that tack rag. So go ahead and tack it off uh, before you shoot your clear. Here in a second, I'll show you guys how dirty that, that tack rag was. Alright, this is my first coat of clear. I've uh, sped the, the tape up to four times regular speed. But what I'm trying to do here, I'm spraying the clear pretty light. And that's going to leave a, a little bit of texture on my project. And what that's going to allow me to do, that texture is going to provide some traction for the second coat of clear. So I can lay the second coat down a lot heavier than this first coat. And it won't run because it will have that little bit of texture to hang on to. I'm starting the second coat now. You can see I'm moving a lot slower. I'm putting down a lot more clear. And again, that traction, that little bit of texture from the first coat is what's gonna enable me to do that and not have the second coat run and sag out. If you're gonna try this method where you use the first coat as a tack coat or a traction coat for the second coat, it's important that you put the second coat down before the first coat is dry. If you let the first coat dry, what's going to happen is it's going to leave a very, very large amount of orange peel on your project, which is something we try to avoid. Right here, I changed the fan setting on the gun which allows me to effectively shoot the bed rails without having to climb into the bed. All right, we're on to the, uh, the rest of the truck. Uh, got most of it sanded down with 180 grit sandpaper. This fender had some rust in it, so I'm gonna replace that fender. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the other fender off uh, so I can paint effectively the hinge side of the door uh, when, when we paint the truck. Uh, unfortunately, the hood it mounts to the fenders as opposed to mounting to the cab. So if I take off both fenders, I have to take off the hood. So I'm going to do that stuff right now. Get the truck completely blown apart. And uh, we'll get it cleaned up and hopefully get the, the main cab and the doors uh, in primer today. All right, I'm getting ready to set the hood up uh, to get painted. It doesn't look like it needs a lot of body work. I'm not real sure. I haven't really checked it out in that rig. But uh, you can see right here where the clear is all peeling and busted off of it. So we're going to go ahead and sand it down. 
and get it ready for paint. And uh, I'll just kind of kind of let the camera run while I get it ready. Uh, I'm going to take 180 grit sandpaper, uh, or sometimes if I'm trying to strip clear, I can go all the way to 120. Uh, but either 120 or 180 on my DA, and, uh, and get it, get all the all the uglies knocked off of it. Uh, in the, like the middle of the hood out here, the clear is still in okay shape, so I don't need to get that clear off. I just need to put some fine scratches in it, some 180 or 1, 120 scratches, something for the primer to get a. a a grab a hold of a mechanical adhesion for the primer to run down in those little scratches and then dry give it something good to hang on to um, over here where i showed you the the clear is all busted off of it here uh, you gotta get all that loose clear off of there and then i like to go back a couple of inches uh, maybe five or six inches away from where that clear was doing that uh, just to make sure i'm into a, a good clear and i don't have any type of lifting or any type of adhesion problems down the road so uh, that's what i'm gonna do All right, right here is a good example of what you got to watch out for when you're prepping for paint. Uh, this is clear coat right here. This is factory clear that's starting to peel. As soon as I hit that with the sander, I, that was there. It wasn't there before. So now in this whole area, I'm not sure how far it's going to go, but this whole area, the clear is weak and getting ready to, to let go of the paint underneath. So I need to stay on this with my DA and kind of move out. And I'm not sure how far I'm going to have to go. But I need to keep moving out from here, moving, removing all of the clear until it doesn't, it doesn't want to do that anymore. So we're going to see, see what happens. Uh, the rest of the hood, uh, you can see the clear is all busted up and peeling off over here. So it may be, I may end up taking all the clear off the entire hood, which is, is a little time consuming, but it's not, it's not the end of the world.